It is uh, no secret that you and Donald don't always agree on things. Uh, are there any things you particularly disagree on? I mean, I just don't think he's very smart. Right. Um, <laughs> we've, we've always had a love-hate relationship. Um, when I say something negative about him, he hates me. And when I say something nice about him, he loves me. And it d doesn't matter. If you say something nice about Donald Trump, you know, he'll, he'll love you no matter what. <laughs> So when he first started to run, I, I didn't really take it all that seriously, but I came out and I said, it, it, it was refreshing to have a candidate that was candid, wasn't scripted, said what was on their mind, and wasn't traditional. And so during the primaries, I supported him against Ted Cruz, and I would talk to him all the time, and he would call me up and he'd say, have you seen the polls, and this and that. And if, from time to time, as, as he started talking about things, I was like, Donald, I mean, I can't support you on these issues. Some of the stuff is just batshit crazy, but um, I don't want Ted Cruz to win. And he was like, oh, that's okay, Mark, that's okay. We'll see what happens. And I honestly didn't think he believed he would win. I remember it was about this time last year when the whole topic of encryption came up with Apple and the FBI. And I tried to explain it to him. And it was just, there was no point. And so, um, <laughs> And so as time went on, it got to the point where it, it was obvious he wasn't making an effort to, to learn. And I, one time I went on TV on CNN and um, criticized him, and he sent me a note. So the way Donald Trump sends a note is he, his assistant, one of his assistants, would email me, and I would respond to the email, and then she would print out the email, he would write on the email, scan it, I would get a copy of the scan. <laughs> Efficiency at its best. And, um, and so he, he sent it back in that format, and he said, after I criticized him, what happened? And I'm like, Donald, I, I've told you, at some point, you've got to learn the issues. And that was the last time I talked to him. So you called Trump uh, not very smart, and he wrote a fortnight ago, I know, on Twitter, of course, I know Mark Cuban well, he backed me big time, but I wasn't interested in taking all of his calls. He's not smart enough to run for president. <laughs> Who's smarter, you or Trump? It's like asking me if I'm smarter than a ham sandwich. 